Grace, was this season in any way tougher for you, not playing as much as you maybe had hoped? And if so, how did you kind of manage that and keep focusing on what you were doing? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely always tough to not play, um, especially um, when that's something you haven't really experienced. Um, so it's tough for anybody in the WNBA, but it happens to a lot of people across the league. There's always, you know, two or three people on a roster that might not have the role that they want, but um, you just have to keep working. You know, I have confidence that things will work out for me in the future um, and be better for me. So I think just keep working, staying positive. And then also I had really great teammates, great people in that locker room that made it um, super easy to stay positive, keep working hard, um, and, you know, root them on. We got James and Christine. Chris, along those lines, what was it like to just work through this season and, and try to still improve even though you're not playing? Like, what does your day-to-day -day look like, practices, things like that? And, and do you go harder in those settings because, you know, I, I might not get as many minutes or as I thought I would or something like that? Yeah, I mean, you definitely can go harder when you're not playing in games. Kind of treat it, you know, almost like off-season in terms of individual workouts. Um, I had a great trainer um, kind of outside of the organization that I was able to work with um, at nighttime, focus on, you know, expanding my game, which you might not have been able to do if you were um, playing regularly in the rotation. So it was good for me in that aspect to get to um, keep working on, on my individual game so I can be ready in the future. No, Christine and Scott. Grace, uh, obviously from the Big Ten, there's a lot of other Big Ten players that are out there, and one of them, of course, is Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Could you describe just your rivalry? Obviously, you've played a lot of games against Iowa, uh, big games, right, with IU, um, and then having her as a teammate. And any any thoughts or any specifics, even on on mm -hmm. you know, was that fun? Uh, how fun was it? Uh, watching the success, her success, you know, just anything along those lines. Thanks. Yeah, it was really fun. I think, especially for someone like me who got to see her um, since she was a freshman at Iowa. And just, I mean, immediately you can tell how talented she was. I kind of had a too close of a front row seat for that at Indiana. She she got the best of, of me and us um, quite a bit. But I knew how talented she was. I knew she was a once-in-a-lifetime player. So for me, um, already being in the league and then welcoming her in, there was no question for me that she would translate um, pretty much immediately. I mean, she's, she's one of a kind. She's a once-in-a-lifetime player. Um, and just, you know, a hard worker, super talented. So it's definitely been more fun to be her teammate than to play against her. I can tell you that. She's not very fun to play against. Um, but just to get to know her kind of off the court, how, how good of a person she is, how lighthearted she is, which she's, um, you know, super competitive on, on the floor. And that light switches um, as soon as she gets off. She's funny. Um, you know, the jokes during the locker room. So it's been fun to get to know her um, on a different level. Uh, we'll go Scott, and then we'll go on Zoom to Howard. Uh, a quick follow-up on that one. Have you met anybody more competitive than Caitlin? Um, I've met some competitive people, but she's definitely she's definitely right up there in everything that we do. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and then in terms of just trying to stay ready um, and contribute, did you try to find other ways, or how do you find other ways to, to help the team when, you know, the minutes may not be there, and then how much are you just looking forward to showcase – the, that work that you said you put in in your in the uh, winter league. Yeah, I think, um, like I said earlier, it's easy to stay ready when you have teammates that come in every day. They're working hard themselves, um, and that's just kind of the, was the culture around here. Um, people getting up extra shots, people staying after practice. Um, so it's easy to stay motivated in those situations. Um, I think focusing on on practice, doing what I can there um, to try to make my teammates better was something that. I kind of locked in on, and then during the games, just being you know supportive for them as, as much as I could. Um, and then I'm excited. I you know I put in a lot of individual work this summer. I'm going to Turkey um, on Tuesday, so getting to play with professionals from across the world, getting to showcase, and then just get better, compete with the best. I'm excited. All right, we try one last time on Zoom. Howard, do you want to go ahead? Hi, can you guys? Oh my okay? God, we get it. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Howard, go ahead. Grace, I, I'm good to see you always. Mm -hmm. um, question for you, just as somebody who has done as much as anyone to try and build the women's game in the home state of Indiana, I just wonder if there's a moment or moments that kind of jumped out at you, particularly about the way this season has resonated in the state and just how, how meaningful it is to see what the Indiana Fever have uh, become, even beyond what you grew up seeing them be like. Yeah, I hope it becomes the norm. It should be, I think. Um, with more eyes on the WNBA, people started to fall in love with it. 
um, not only in the state of Indiana, but we were selling out arenas um, all across the country, which um, definitely was not the case in my first year. So I think um, just getting more eyes on the game has been has been super special, um, and people are, are realizing how how great of a product it is, um, how it's just as exciting as the men's game, how it's just as exciting as the college game, um, and how talented of people we have in this league. So I think um, it's been really exciting to be a part of and see, and I just hope that it becomes a norm moving forward.